Man, it's hot. Hey Siri, what's the temperature on the patio? The patio temperature in your my home kid home is at 40 degrees Celsius. It's Dustin again with My Home Kit Home, and if you couldn't tell from the intro, today we'll be looking at some slightly more advanced automation using Apple HomeKit. The thing about these automations, however, is that we can't actually use Apple's Home app to carry them out. We'll need to use a third-party app like E for HomeKit or some other third-party HomeKit app. The reason why is that for some reason, not quite sure why, but Apple's Home app doesn't actually allow you to create automations based on changes in environments, so say temperature, humidity, etc. So we'll need to use a third party app to do that. It is still, however, a HomeKit automation and we'll see why at the end of the video. What we'll be using today are a couple of different things. Like I mentioned, we'll be using the Eve for HomeKit app We'll also be using an Eve of Weather, as well as a fan connected to an ISP6X smart plug. And finally, I'm using a Philips Hue Light Strip Plus. So if you're interested in following along, you can find links to all of those products down in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first, let's do a bit of snooping in Apple's home app. So from the automations tab, we'll tap on the plus button at the top right. And so since we are wanting to use a sensor, right, a temperature sensor in this case, to control some different accessories, let's go into when a sensor detects something. And as you can see, all we have are motion sensors, which is kind of a bummer. So let's see what we can do with the when a, an accessory is controlled automation and as you can see there's nothing really there we have lights and plugs and humidifiers and that's really about it so we'll have to bring in the big guns i suppose let's go over to the e for home kit app so here we are in the app store here is the e for home kit app it's a free download from the app store so we'll go ahead and open this guy up now let's talk about our objective for today. So what I want to do is whenever the temperature outside reaches 40 degrees Celsius, I want the light strip to turn red and I also want the fan to kick on. So what we'll do in order to do this is down at the bottom, we'll go to the scenes tab and at the top right, we'll go to rules. Rules are Eve's way of saying automation. And an automation really consists of three things. A trigger, which is what causes the condition, which is our next step to be evaluated, and then finally our actions. So what we'll do here is we'll add a trigger. And what we want our trigger to be is our temperature. So we'll tap on temperature. My temperature sensor that I want to use happens to be on the porch. So we'll go ahead and toggle that particular one there. And we want to look at our condition, which we want it to be greater than or equal to 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, and we can see there that that has been set up as we would like it. Now for this one, we don't really want any conditions, at least I don't, but feel free to add any time conditions, any value conditions that you would like. Now in the Eve app, we are required to use a scene. We can't just use an accessory, so we'll go ahead and set up a scene for our two accessories. So down at the bottom, we'll tap add scene. And what we want to do is our first accessory, which is the fan, it's located in my bedroom. So I'll go down and choose fan make sure our power state is on. It's not actually a home kit fan, it's just a fan connected to a power outlet. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And then the next one we want to choose is from our living room, which is the couch light strip three. So we want to make sure of a couple of things here. We wanna make sure that the power state is turned to on. All right, that's our first step. We also want to ensure that our color is the right color that we want. So we'll choose a nice deep red just to indicate that it is in fact hot as the Dickens outside. So now we'll tap the back button once we are satisfied with our hue. And we want to make sure that we can see it and it's nice and bright. So we'll make sure our brightness is set at 100%. 
And as you can see, all of our actions for the scene have been completed. So let's tap next. Now we do need to choose a scene name. I'll choose 98 degrees here. Now I do realize that 98 degrees Fahrenheit is not quite 40 degrees Celsius, but I am a product of the 90s. Okay, so once we tap next, we can see that our scene is automatically selected for us. So we'll tap next again. Now, we do need to choose a rule name in the Eve app. Here, I'll just title it, Man, It's Hot. And as you can see, our rule has been set up. If we tap on it from our automations, or I guess our rules list here in the Eve app, you can see that we can make those little finite adjustments to the rule itself just like we would have in Apple's home app. So we can enable and disable the automation. We can adjust the triggers, conditions, and the scenes or the actions. And we can also delete the automation if we would like. And that's really about it. It's as simple as that. Now let's head over to Apple's home app and see what we can do over there. Now I mentioned at the top of the video that we'd be having a look at why this is in fact a HomeKit automation and here's why. If we look at our automations list, we can see our automation down there at the bottom. Now it does appear as an automation that is based on when an accessory is controlled, but nevertheless, we still have it. And tapping on it, we can enable and disable it. We also see that we have our time conditions and our people conditions. Now, this people condition I wasn't able to find in Eve's app, so I'll go ahead and make that finite adjustment here and I'll set it to when somebody is home because, well, we don't need this to be running if nobody's home because there's no one there to actually observe the automation. And we can see that we can make our finite adjustments with the scenes and accessories if we would like. We can test the automation. Again, if you know my thoughts on testing automations, we don't need to do that. We also have the ability to set our timer for the automation to turn off. And as always, we can delete the automation from here as well. And it really is as easy as that. I understand that it's a bit clunky, a bit cumbersome having to do certain things in the Eve app and then certain things in Apple's Home app or what have you, but ultimately at the end of the day we do get our automation and it's a pretty useful one at that. We're not just pigeonholed to temperature based automations, of course, we can base it on any sort of sensor information that we have in our home. These can be really, really useful. So, how do you use environment-based automations? Let us know down in the comments below. Also, in the description box, you can find Amazon affiliate links to all of the products that we use to make today's video, and we would appreciate you using those links if you're thinking about picking up some of these products. It really does help out the channel. Also, in the description box, you can find links to all of our social media and to our blog over at myhomekithome.com. If you're interested in more videos like this on HomeKit automation, you can also check out the playlist that we made as well. As always, if you found the content useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, this has been Dustin with My HomeKit Home.